Hello, welcome to my birthday book haul! Ah, it has recently been my birthday. Last weekend was my birthday. I am 27 years old, or 72 if you paid attention to the uh, cake that Jake made me. Put the candles in the wrong way around because he thinks he's hilarious. <laughs> but it has been my birthday and I have been ever so lucky and ever so fortunate to have received some incredible gifts from some incredible people. When I stacked them all up, obviously the majority of them are books, when I stacked them all up it kind of shocked me with quite how many were here. So uh, buckle up, there's a lot of books that I want to show you that are new additions to my shelves thanks to the incredibly generous friends I have and viewers, subscribers, patrons, I am so grateful for anything that anyone sent me. Thank you to you if you were one of those people. There are a few things that didn't come with gift notes, so if they were you, claim them. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much to all of my friends. Let's have a look at all the books I've got. <laughs> First up, from my dear friend Alicia, she got me another copy of Play of Shadows by Sebastian de Castell. This is my favourite book like ever. And she got me the Broken Binding edition of this for my birthday. Ta-da! I have the standard edition and I have the inkstone edition up on my shelves already, but Alicia nabbed me this one so I've had to wait until my birthday to get a hold of this one. But this is one of my favourite books of all time. Sebastian de Castell is my favourite author. This edition is beautiful, gorgeous, and I am so thankful to have it to add to my collection. It is going right up there, edges out, because look at them, they're glorious. Um, thank you so much, Alicia, for this beautiful collectible edition of this. I won't kiss it because I've got lipstick on, but thank you so much. And on a similar level, my dear friend Kathleen got me another copy of The Fragile Threads of Power. This is the Illumicrate edition of The Fragile Threads. Um, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, and it's got the dust jacket to match the Illumicrate editions of the Darker Shades trilogy, which I have up there. Um, and Kath got me this one to continue on my series. I am super duper grateful. Again, I've got the Standard Edition, the Waterstone Special Edition, and the Forbidden Planet Special Edition, I think. I think that's what they are. So this is my fourth edition of this book, actually. Which doesn't surprise me for Victoria Schwab. I think I've got at least four editions of all of the Shades of Magic books. <laughs> Um, but I'm super duper grateful to have this one and thank you very much Kath for securing this for me. Also please ignore my nails. I am getting them done later this week but I am losing them. <laughs> ignore that. Next up from Margarita I have got Hooky volume 3. Uh, this is a really cute gift note. Uh, long time subscriber, don't interact a lot but wanted to say that I love your content, thanks for everything you do and for always making me feel very welcomed. Hugs from Portugal from Margarita. Hugs straight back to you. Thank you so much for this. I have read volume 1 of this and I have volume 2 but I've been holding off on reading it because I wanted to make sure I would like be able to continue. Uh, but this is about a couple of witches and I believe the way this is going it may get a little bit darker. Uh, there are some dark witches and the couple of kids in volume one miss miss the bus to like wizardry school um, and maybe get roped up with some uh, darker witches. I think it could be heading in that direction. It's been a long time since I've read volume one. Probably could do with a reread of that but I enjoyed it a whole lot, so I think for witchy season, this series is one I want to get to and continue. I'm very excited about it. It is a uh, graphic novel series. Uh, so thank you so much, Margarita, for this. Very grateful. Next up, from Beth, my lovely patron Beth. Love you, Beth. You're such a party person. Um, I have got I'm Afraid You've Got Dragons by Peter S. Beagle. Uh, this is perfect for July because I am reading 
only dragon books in July, so I might get to this one, but Peter S. Beagle is the author of The Last Unicorn, which is a book that I have read and loved. I've read and loved the graphic novel version, and as a kid I absolutely adored the movie of The Last Unicorn, so I'm very excited to read something else from Peter S. Beagle, and I've just seen that it's been blurbed by Travis Baldry, which is exciting. I feel like this could have funny vibes just based on the title alone, but I'm excited to get to it and excited to read more Peter Beagle. Next up from Emma, thank you so much Emma, for The Tainted Cup by Robert Jackson Bennett. This is one that I saw around a while back and didn't purchase for myself and then loads of people were loving it and I was so eager to get my mitts on it and then Emma said if you don't have it yet don't buy it so I didn't and Emma gifted it to me for my birthday so thank you so much Emma for this I believe this is a bit of a murder mystery uh, oh it's been blurbed by Wesley Chu who is the author of uh, Art of Prophecy and Art of Destiny which I love part Sherlock Holmes murder mystery part through the looking glass an opulent mansion. I'm really sorry if you can hear the bin van that's just decided to go by. I'm just going to carry on. Uh, an opulent mansion at the borders of the Empire. An imperial officer lies dead, killed when a tree spontaneously erupted from his body. Even here, where contagions abound and the blood of the Leviathans work strange magic changes, it's a death at once terrifying and impossible. Ooh, Anna is called in to solve the crime. She has a reputation for brilliance. Ooh, and her assistant is an engraver magically altered to possess a perfect memory. Magical, mysterious murder. This sounds so good. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Emma. Next up from Ocean, I have Fright Bite by Jennifer Killick. This is book five. I believe, in the Dreadwood series. I have read the first one, haven't got any further than that, but for like Halloween season where everyone dives into their horror books, I don't do horror, but I do do creepy middle grade and I really liked Dreadwood when I read that. So I am excited to continue this series in spooky season. Thank you so much Ocean for this, but also thank you Ocean for this. This jumper has all the evolutions and they're like baby faced and adorable and I love it. It's super cozy. Obviously red is my colour and I love it. So thank you so much Ocean for the book and the jumper. <sighs> I love it. And Finn's being very vocal oh, about yeah. this. <laughs> Hello, Finny boy. Next up, I have a bit of a stack from Victoria. Victoria always goes above and beyond. She is one of the most generous giving people. Um, and she truly did. And she's done these in a particular order for me as well. So we kick it off with The Last Mortal Bond by Brian Stavely. I think this was number one. Uh, yeah, and she's got little notes, handwritten notes in each one. Uh, another one for Final Book Support Group. This is the third book in the Unhewn Throne series by Brian Stavely, and I have very recently read the first one of this, like last week, which was um, The Emperor's Blades. I loved it. It got five stars. I have the sequel on my shelf, and now I have the third one as well, thanks to Victoria. This one is real chunky, but I loved book one, so I'm very excited to be able to continue and complete this series. Thank you so much, Victoria. And then we have got A Promise of Blood by Brian McClellan, uh, which is book number one in the Powder Mage series. And then we have the Crimson Campaign, which is book number two in the Powder Mage trilogy. And then we have The Autumn Republic, which is book number three in the Powder Mage trilogy. So she went all out and got me the full Powder Mage trilogy. And the notes, I'm pretty sure she thinks I'm going to enjoy this one. Pretty sure you're going to love this. Enjoy is the note in book number one. The note in book number two one for the continuation station, happy birthday. And the note in book number three is, you can do it, another series completed. <laughs> That's just so sweet. She is the sweetest. So thank you so much, Victoria, for those books. But also Victoria 
always does a little handmade gift as well and they're actually hung up on my bookshelf over here but she's gifted me a load of evolution keychains that I have hung on the fairy lights on my bookshelf. There's a a Leafeon, a Flareon, a Glaceon, a Jolteon, and an Umbreon up there. They are very sweet. Clearly people know that I love my evolutions. <laughs> um, I am working on an evolution leg tattoo currently. I've got Vaporeon and Flareon, and my mum has booked me in for Jolteon for my birthday, but that won't actually be happening until August because uh, obviously tattoo artists get booked. But um, a very evolution filled birthday. So thank you so much, Victoria, for those gifts. You are the absolute sweetest and I love you very much. Next up from Freddy. Freddy got me Flock Horror and Deadly Deep by Jennifer Killick. So this is book three and four. Three and four in the Dreadwood series. So I've got book five down there, one and two on my shelf, three and four here. So I've got all of these books to continue in the scary season because this is about as horror as I get. Uh, I'm very excited about these. Thank you very much, Freddie. Freddie also got me a very cute little octopi. <laughs> uh, when we went to the zoo, if you've seen the zoo vlog, Freddie was with us at the zoo. Um, we saw an octopi and I fell in love with them, but all of the octopies in the gift store were not not cute. They all looked a little bit um, possessed. Um, so she made it her mission to find me a cute octopi, and here it is. It is adorable. I love it. Thank you very much, Freddie. <laughs> and it has a home on the bookshelf over there. Next up from Cece. Cece made a bit of an error because she ordered me something and then freaked out that it wasn't going to get here on time, so then ordered me something else. So I got double gifts from Cece, which is so her, isn't it? But we have got The Shadow Casket by Chris Wooding. This is the second book in the Ember Blade series. I don't know if it's just a duology and I don't know if the series has a name. Uh, book two of the Dark Water Legacy. The Ember Blade is one that has been calling to me recently, but I haven't yet read. Now I will have the sequel, so I should probably get around to that. It is a chonker. Thank you very much, Cece, for this. And then she also got me the expansion pack to What Do You Meme, uh, which is a card game that we played on my birthday. So thank you, Cece, for those. But Cece also got me a very cute, um, Ghibli uh, Totoro lamp thing. Um, it's it's a way down there. I don't think you can see it. I will get a little clip of it and put it on the screen here. It is so sweet and this was the gift that she didn't think was going to make it in time. It's so pretty. I love it so much. I am a massive Ghibli fan. Thank you Cece for that. I love it. And on the topic of Ghibli actually, M got me some gifts that were not books. Shocking. Em got me this pack of Ghibli socks. I have actually had this pack of socks before. I still have, I think, three of the pairs from it, but you know, as socks wear, they get holes in and they end up in the bin. I am very happy to have another pack of these socks because they are adorable. They're little scenes from Ghibli movies. So thanks, Em, for that. And she also got me these earrings, which I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but these are little soot sprites from Spirited Away. And Spirited Away is my favourite movie ever. And they're little soot sprite earrings. So thank you very much, Em, for that. And she also got me a keychain with Haku and the paper bird on it as well, which is also super cute. So she went all in on the Ghibli theme. So thank you very much, Em, for those. I love you. I love everybody. I'm so full of love. <laughs> then next up from Amy, thank you very much Amy, we have got Untethered Sky by Fonda Lee. This is a little novella from Fonda Lee. Uh, Fonda Lee obviously wrote the uh, Greenbone Saga, which I have loved, but I've not read anything else from her. I, I, has she written much else other than that? I actually don't know. Exo novels. Okay, she has written some other things, but I've only read the uh, Greenbone Saga from Fonda Lee. But I have heard amazing things about this one. Uh, so I'm excited to dive into this, see what it's all about. I actually don't know, and I don't think I want to know. With it being a novella, 
I worry that like knowing too much is too much so I'm gonna go into this not knowing much at all other than it's Fond de Lee so it's probably gonna be awesome. <laughs> uh, so thank you very much Amy for this one. And then sadly I have a few that didn't come with gift notes so if any of these were from you make it known. Uh, there's only three of them but I don't know who they're from so thank you to whoever they're from. First up we have The Fire Within by Matthew Ward. I am just gonna double check that there's definitely not... Yeah, no, there's no gift note in here, so I do not know who this is from, but this is a book two of The Soulfire Saga by Matthew Ward. The first one was The Darkness Before Them, um, which I have read. I liked, I didn't love, like I didn't love it as much as I loved the legacy stuff from Matthew Ward, but I still would like to continue. So thank you to whoever this is from. Make yourself known. I am very grateful. And next I have Goblin Slayer Volume 1. This is a manga. I can't remember when I put this on my wish list, but I had heard it mentioned somewhere and thought, oh, that sounds really good and popped it on my wish list. And I think it had been there for a while. A young priestess joins her first adventuring party, but almost immediately encounters the most unspeakable horrors. Uh, rescued by an enigmatic warrior called the Goblin Slayer, she partners with her savior on her mission to exterminate all goblins. Sounds awesome. Uh, but I don't know who this is from. So if, if it was you, thank you very much. Make yourself known. I am very grateful for this one. And then the last book I got is The Daughter's War by Christopher Buhlman. Goblins, Guts, Glory. That's new to me. Um, this is the sequel to The Black Tongue Thief, which I haven't read yet, but I really want to. Um, I tried the audiobook of it and it didn't work for me, so I really want to read it physically. But like on paper, it's one that I should very much enjoy. And now I've got the hardback to match. Um, so thank you to whoever this was from. Again, just checking that there's definitely no, no, no gift notes in here. So thank you to whoever this was from. I am very appreciative and very grateful. Please make yourself known. That stack of books is probably gonna fall over. And then from my work colleagues, I got a book voucher. So on my birthday, I went book shopping. I spent the book voucher and then some, because naturally that's just what you do when you get a book voucher. So I got myself some other books. <laughs> um, I picked up Dreamwalker by JD Oswald. This is like a 2012 release, I wanna say. Like it's an older one. Uh, yes, 2012, uh, but it's dragons. And with it being July, I'm very excited about all of the dragon books. So I'm gonna continue to read all of the dragon books and obtain them all. I've seen it around a lot and I've never actually heard anyone talk about it. A young boy tries to find his way in the world. He's an outsider. He looks different from other children and has never known his father. No one has any knowledge of his true lineage. Deep in the forest, Benfro, a young male dragon begins his training in the subtle arts. Like his mother, Morgan the Green, he is destined to be a great mage. No one could imagine the future of all life in the Twin Kingdoms rests in the hands of these two unlikely heroes. But it is a destiny that will change the lives of boy and dragon forever. Ah. But I've not heard anything about this really, but um, I've seen it around a lot and it's dragony, so I picked this one up. Then I also picked up a couple of non-fictions because I do that occasionally. Um, and my non-fiction of choice is usually astrophysics, but I've branched out a little bit and I've gone for the physics of climate change. So we're still in physics, but also climate change. Um, if you didn't know, I am um, quite passionate about climate change, the environment, wildlife, things like that. Um, I've just completed the 5k a day fundraiser for WWF. Polathon I always do as a fundraiser for um, Polar Bears, Polar Bears International. Um, I like to do what I can, how I can, but I am also quite aware that just being human in this world is um, contributing to climate change. I think this could be very interesting to learn more about and I'm genuinely interested, so I pick this one up for myself. I can't stack any more over there. They are all about to topple over. Um, and then another one that I picked up, another nonfiction, is a very short introduction to the Arctic. Very similar vein. The Arctic is demanding global attention. It's warming, melting, and thawing in a manner that threatens not just the Arctic's four million inhabitants, 
but the whole planet. Yet to reduce the Arctic to its changing environment would ignore the complexities of the region and its potential. A very short introduction provides an account of the Arctic, its physical environment, and its people. Yay! And then the last one I picked up for myself was a manga, and I picked up The Faraway Paladin. Uh, this sounded very cool to me. The back cover looks adorable. Um, in the city of the dead, long since ruined and far from human civilization, lives a single human child. His name is Will, and he's being raised by three undead. The three pour love into the boy and teach him all they know, but one day Will starts to wonder, who am I? Will must unravel the mysteries of this faraway land and unearth the secret paths of the undead. He must learn the love and mercy of the good gods and the bigotry and madness of the bad. And when he knows it all, the boy will take his first step on the path to becoming a paladin. Sounded like a fun adventure, so pick this one up for myself as well. And there we have it. Ta-da! Oh, kind of unrelated, but in the pile. Uh, Jake also got me Pokemon Legends Arceus, because I haven't played this yet, and I have been desperate to recently. Um, so he got me this. <laughs> I'm very excited to play more Pokemon. I love Pokemon, and I haven't played this one yet. So uh, I'm excited to rectify that issue and dive into this. As much as I want to do that like right now, <laughs> I have reading to do as well, so I'm going to be juggling my time as I am so eager to play that game. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That is everything that I got for my birthday from my wonderful friends, wonderful patrons, subscribers, people all around. I am so grateful to all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you ever so much for watching and hanging out with me for a bit to go through what I got for my birthday. But there we have it. I shall see you in whatever comes next. Bye.